Hi there, it's me again. We're going to continue our nether adventure in this episode. Uh, in the previous episode, we got to the nether, uh, and we did a little bit of exploring in our own little safety tunnel. Uh, and we're going to continue that today. I did a brief little resupplying trip uh, back to uh, the base uh, in between episodes. I didn't do much beyond making some new pickaxes and a pair of golden boots, uh, which means that the piglins will no longer attack us on site, or the majority of them will. There are still a special kind of piglin that will still attack me on site, but that'll make the piglins less dangerous, and it'll also give us the opportunity to trade with them if we want. We just have to get more gold. But we gotta find a way down first. Because as much as I love the safety tunnel and the implicit safety of the safety tunnel, I'm realizing that it doesn't make for very good television. <laughs> so we're gonna try and descend and have a little bit more adventure in our adventure. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Alright. This is dumb and stupid and shouldn't be attempted at home. Whew, okay. I didn't think that would work. Now we'll just make a little stairy staircase up there so that we can get back up safely. A little stairy staircase. <laughs> I also, I'm not seeing any fortresses nearby, which kind of sucks real bad. But you win, you, uh, you, uh, I was gonna do like a met. You win and you learn, you lose and you learn. What's that? Live and you learn. That's the one. I haven't been doing much living clearly in the English language, so I forget my idioms. What the heck was that noise? I bet it was a hoglin, wasn't it? Which is what those big ass pigs are called. I said a naughty word again. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but they are really big pigs. Which coincidentally is the title of my 14th rap rock album featuring LL Cool J, Fallout Boy, and a guy that I picked up off the street named Norris. Yay! Staircase! So now we're gonna come down here. And now we are back into the land. I feel like I should probably make a little, like, landmark around here just to, I don't know, make it a little bit more noticeable. Does that make sense? Y'all feel me? I know y'all feel me. Apparently none of the tools that I have are good for destroying these little, like, tree things. So hopefully, I'll see this little obelisk from at least some distance away, so that I'll be able to know that this is the way home. Maybe I won't. Maybe we'll just be lost. But hey, see? The piglins aren't attacking me anymore. Gold armor for the win. Anything fun over here? No? Nothing? Okay, that's cool. Whatever. I'm not even hurt. I mean, I am, just emotionally, not physically. Oh, fortress. Oh, fortress, fortress, fortress. Yeah! Yeah, everything's cool. Parkour. Alright, well, that looks like a way forward, at least. Oh, well, this is dumb. Cowabunga! Woo! <laughs> Oh, man. We do have to be careful because there's still stuff in the nether that will attack us on sight. And that does a decent bit of damage. So. Gah, get! No, 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 no! That was fast. 
And we lost all our stuff, but we didn't take Felon with us. So we didn't lose our Felon. I think that that's worth a coffee break. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, new plan. I've come back with as much stuff as I can muster, uh, because all of my other stuff burned up in the lava, which is perfectly fine. I'm not mad at all. I'm not emotionally devastated by it. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna come through the nether, and we're just gonna run off in a direction and see if we can find the fortress. <laughs> Because I don't want to go back through the safety tunnel, because A, that's boring, and B, I already know that that ends in lava, fiery death. So we're going to just try and avoid safety tunnels. The safety tunnels aren't safe. They're filled with death. That's a wall. We're going to avoid that. We're coming over here. Ah, uh, poop. I broke my knees. Everything's fine. I think maybe if I just keep a continuous, like, non-stop talking thread going, maybe I'll find something good. That's what other people on YouTube do, right? They just never stop talking. That's So that's what I'm going to do. Just never stop talking. You can already tell that I'm already running out of things to say because I haven't stopped talking. And so I'm not going to continue to stop talking. Talking? Words. I use words. Do you use words? Because I use them. Only occasionally, though. Most of the time, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> what the heck? Oh... So, piglins also get mad at you if you mine gold, and I forgot about that. So we're just gonna make a little block there so that nobody comes through and kills us. I completely forgot about that. That was a big silly thing to do. I wonder if they get mad at you for mining quartz. Guess we're gonna find out then, aren't we, fellas? Alright, this looks like it's promising. At least it's something that isn't a safety tunnel, which are decidedly unsafe this also doesn't look good it looks very dangerous and deadly and also very dark all of which are D words which are fun weeping vines I don't think I've ever picked those up before which is amusing ooh that looks like crying obsidian down there which I think can be used for stuff so, I'm not going to be able to get it, are I? am I, because I don't have a diamond pickaxe on me. Whoopsies, didn't mean to press that button. But even if I don't have a diamond pickaxe, it'll be good to note that it's there. Okay, we're moving down. Like a clown, faces past, um, homebound. Yeah. Oh gosh, golly god, oh no. Oh, it looks like a... It looks almost like a bastion remnant. But I don't see any bastions nearby. Which is interesting. A bastion is another type of generated structure in the nether. Uh, which is filled with piglins. And death. But there's a bunch of good stuff you can get. Oop! Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm amazed that I did not die there. Everybody that is watching this right now, if anybody's watching it, you should be amazed at the fact that I didn't die. Because I'm amazed that I didn't die. Also, that chest was really lame. I came down here because I saw the chest and I was like, okay, I should pick that up. That looks really cool. And it wasn't. It was lame. I am going to pick up this gold block, though. Because this will be good to have. Ooh, man. Also, you don't want to step on these little magma-looking blocks, because they're magma, and they hurt you. Also, yeah, it does look like I need a diamond pickaxe to mine the crying obsidian, which is fine. I hope you all know how scared I was in those moments. I was certain I was going to die. And you may be seeing this and thinking, ah yes, he's still going to die. He's going to die again. 
and I can't not guarantee that, so, you know... <laughs> These things also are called striders, and they're very neat because if you get a saddle, you can uh, ride them, and you can uh, ride them across the lava, which is pretty cool. But I don't have a saddle right now, and if I did, I probably would have already gotten a horse and put the saddle on that first. But hey, you know. If we have a need to adventure a great deal more in the nether, might not be the worst idea. How close are we? Okay, now, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alright. Now, these are zombified piglins who will all attack you en masse if you attack one of them. So, as long as you don't attack one of them, you should be fine. This is soul sand. And the special thing about soul sand is that when you walk on it, it slows you down. Which, if you think, oh man, that sounds like it would be a massive pain in the butt, you're right. It is. But we're gonna want to pick up some for a purpose later. And I didn't bring a shovel because I forgot to make one, which is fine and cool and dandy and everything's fine. And in these, uh, this particular nether biome, you can find these big ol' like, skeletal remains of whatever. Bone blocks, which can be used to craft a whole bunch of bone meal, which is really good for plants. It's fertilizer, pretty much. So, if you're like me and you don't have the patience to have, uh, crops grow, just go ahead and mine this stuff. I'm going to try and leave a trail of torches, so that I know where to go to return home. Freaking skeletons. It's the slowest fist fight you've ever seen. Oh, man. It's so slow. Okay. Anything? Literally anything. Anything would be dope right about now. Here I am, just running from the freaking skeletons. Wait, 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 no, no. I thought that these little red things were stuff that I wanted to pick up, but I don't think they are. Yeah, they're just crimson roots. Wow. This place is very large and imposing. But there's still a great big old fat nothing here. <laughs> More fanciful forests, which is great. I just love those. Big fan of those. Big fan. Oh, that's a ghast. Yay! Guests fire giant fireballs at you, which is fun. You like being on fire, which we've already established earlier in the episode. I'm not a huge fan of. All right, look, Al, get off the cliff. Anything over here? No, just a bunch of guests and death. Let's try to avoid death in as much as it is possible. Oh, uh, there's nothing up there. So my options include go towards death or go towards the fanciful forest. Neither of which seem particularly appealing to me. Ooh, okay. Remember, bows work very effectively on those guys. Very effectively. Was that an angry piglin noise? I really hope that it was just a mildly perturbed piglin noise. Anybody? Anything fun? Oh boy. Let's just get the heck away from him. Oh, I'm out of 
freaking arrows. Okay, that guy's dead, which is fun. Anything. Literally anything would be great right about now. Y'all see a fortress? Because I sure freaking don't. Anywhere? Anything? Hold on, let me go in here. I did this last episode, but you can turn up your render distance so that you can see further. It kind of makes things a little laggier, though. But I don't see anything. You can see it kind of being a little more stuttery at that uh, distance. I think it's because there's a lot of particles in the nether. It might also be because I have the graphics at the fanciest setting. Alright, well, we'll continue on this way. See if we can find anything neat. So I do have to ask, or I would like to ask, are you all enjoying this series so far? I like to think that people have been enjoying it. Granted, I haven't had anyone verify that, but I've been enjoying making it, so I hope all the seven people that are subscribed to me are enjoying it. Which, please don't take that as me not appreciating that. I really, really appreciate everybody who's subscribed. Because that's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. The fact that anybody subscribed is honestly just amazing to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just like to know if you're enjoying, you know. Go ahead and leave a comment. I have not gotten very many of those, but every time I do get one, it brings me quite a bit of joy. Oh boy. Oh, poop. I don't want to die here, in hell. I'm so glad that I decided to make that gold armor. Okay. Whew. That guy's dead. Yay. Wow, there's just a lot of magma down here, isn't it? <laughs> wow, that's 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 a lot. I wonder what that little platform over there is. This also, in case you wonder, feels very dangerous. <laughs> I'm a man of mystery. A man of danger. Danger mystery mystery danger. All of which are very real things. Oh man, it's just a pillar. I spent all that energy mining netherrack and it's just a freaking pillar. Oh man, I could use the soul sand and the bone blocks. I'm almost out of pickaxe though. Poop on a scoop. Yeah, that's about as far as I mi as I can mine and plat and pillar. Man, it doesn't look like there's a fortress anywhere near here. But I think we had a little bit of an adventure today. There was uh, death, there was sadness, and in between episodes, I'm gonna go run back to my base and make another pickaxe because this gosh darn place just doesn't want me to find it. So, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like the video, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. I would really appreciate that. Uh, and if not, don't. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.